Our Augusta mine started in 2002, uh, and what we try it is kind of done over the years. We've mined a lot of little blocks that were left behind by the bigger companies that mined maybe in the 40s and 50s. So this particular block of coal was left, and we came in and permitted it and started mining on the far west side uh, of uh, Augusta and developed our mine to the east. And we were getting near the end of the project and we noticed there's some, a couple of landowners and there's this long sliver of coal that was pretty narrow and happened to have a county road and two houses along it so it made no sense to mine it but anyway we went ahead and started looking at going to that and then we started talking to the DNR about possibly working with them on a high wall that, that was adjacent to it. It was an obvious danger it was a pretty severe drop off right off the immediate road and uh, it, was, it was a scary area. I could see why people didn't particularly want to drive on that road. And the other thing about it, you know, we want to be a good citizen, a good neighbor to the people. So we had worked with Pike County quite a bit on different projects over the years. We had had road closures and we had been speaking to the Pike County commissioners about this road and the potential of mining through it along the time. And they saw it as a, it was a, as a potential hazard. In some areas along the high wall, there was obvious erosion that was eating into the adjacent county road, which was further uh, leading to uh, some of the endangerment aspects of that. And it is a highly traveled county road, not only local residences, but daily school bus traffic. The benefits that we realized from this as a program were significant cost savings, going from six point. Two million down to three hundred thousand, three hundred five thousand dollars. So that afforded us the opportunity to do additional projects and address other high hazard areas that we were working on. Without this savings, uh, there would have been some other projects that would have either been delayed or not been able to be have, to, to have been completed. If we had done this as a standalone project, one of the most significant impacts would have been to the adjoining or adjacent uh, state fish and wildlife property. In order to get an adequate amount of material to do a backfill against the high wall, we were going to have to disturb perhaps 20 to 30 acres of their mine spoil that's within their, their uh, property boundary. And uh, to obtain probably about a million, million three cubic yards of material. So this process with Triad, mining um, through the high wall, bringing their excess spoil with them and using that as the the backfill material was, uh, was a win for the uh, property as well. And then the other big benefit was the relocation and realignment of the county road. It eliminated that hazard that the uh, local citizenry were using and they have a nice wide county road to, uh, to reverse on a daily basis now. You know, prior to construction, it was kind of the typical um, pre-reclamation uh, abandoned coal mine. So a lot of rough uh, stripper hills and uh, forested slopes. Um, there was a pretty good high wall there. Um, so, you know, the work that was done, um, in my opinion, significantly enhanced the habitat, the wildlife habitat, because it, it took that kind of that rough forest stuff and put it into more of a gently rolling upland habitat type situation. This is a place now where people can come and, you know, have a quality upland game hunting opportunity. And uh, since you know, it's a fish and wildlife area and that's pretty much our goal is to provide those quality hunting opportunities. Um, this project really fits well with what we do. Several people deserve thanks and that includes both, you know, Title V and Title IV programs at the Indiana DNR Division of Reclamation, the Office of Surface Mining, Triad Mining, the Army Corps of Engineers, the State uh, uh, Department of Administration Public Works Division, the State Fish and Wildlife Agency in the nearby property, Sugar Ridge, the Pike County Commissioners, and then of course the local citizenry that uh, were uh, somewhat inconvenienced during the course of the project.